Hello and welcome back to the Empress Locks channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to double twist your locks. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Now everybody has been asking me what products is on my hands that I use to retwist and I would love to tell you however I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and the majority of you watching are not subscribed so when I get to 10k I will release the video letting you know all the products that I use. But for now let's get into the video. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this so working on freshly washed hair I am going to spray it with my water mister if you would like this water bottle the link will be in the description I'll be using this natural hair growth oil I use it on the scalp for all my clients so if you've been here before you should know how to retwist. If you don't, there'll be a link in the description or you can click the top right hand corner. But I always start any style with a fresh retwist as it will have it looking the nicest. Now I will do a video with someone who's got much less hair as I usually retwist and double twist as I'm going. So once you reach the top of the head, everywhere's done. But this client has so much hair, it's easier to do it this way. So as you can see, I'm finished. I'm just parting off the hair, seeing how many locks I'm going to use. I think in this instance, I use about five or six. Personally, if I'm using more than three strands, my technique is to plait the base to make sure it's nice and secure. So you'll see me doing that at the beginning of every lock. If I have an even amount of locks within the double twist, I'll just make sure I have two in each hand or three in each hand, one in each hand. However, if it is an odd number, I see which bundle in my hand is the thinnest and I'll add the spare lock to that. Okay, so now I've finished platting and I have two, one in my right hand and one in my left one. The one in my right, I'm going to twist clockwise. The one in the left, I'm also going to twist clockwise. But when you twist both in the clockwise motion, you're almost twisting them against each other. So twist clockwise on both hands and then pass it around to the other hand like you would a normal twist. Then again, twist clockwise both hands. Exchange hands. Twist and then twist and this is why it's called a double twist because you're twisting it and then you're twisting it round each other and that gives the rope effect i hope you understand what i mean i'm going to do about five or six more examples so you can really get the hang of it after every lock I always map out where my next ones are going to go and which locks will go in what twists because you don't want to end up with a single lock and it has no twist to go in or it has to stretch far so always map it out even if the numbers aren't adding up so even if you've just done a double twist with five locks and the next one maybe you can only do four or three it's fine especially when you start at the back because you won't notice so I'm just going to fast forward through me Platting the locks and then I finish once again. Right hand, twist clockwise. Left hand, twist clockwise. Twist and exchange hands. Twist, exchange hands, twist, exchange hands. Once you get the hang of it, you should become really fast with it and you don't even notice the initial twisting of the locks, the and the clockwise twisting. It will just become part of it it can get a bit tiring sometimes your wrists do hurt if the person has a lot of hair but this is what we do so just continue all the way down and you just finish off with an elastic band so it doesn't come out i also have a tutorial on how to finish off styles like this i.e plaques or double twists that will be in the top right hand corner or in the description box so i know it can be a bit hard to pick up but um, as you can see, I'm just speeding through it. So it doesn't even look like I'm twisting it anti-clockwise, but I am. But instead of me using my whole hands, I'm literally twisting it using the tips of my fingers. You'll be able to do that once you practice more as well. So just keep watching and you will see the end result.
I am a quarter of the way through and I like to just oil the scalp and just rub it in. So while I'm doing the top part of the hair, it's nice and moisturized, it's not dry, it's not flaky. Halfway through and I oil the scalp once more and just rub it in. This is a ritual of mine, works well, keeps the hair nice, moisturized, shiny, looking fresh. And we are done. This is the finished result. I used between five and six locks in this style. So this is how it turns out. Stay tuned. I'll be showing you what double twist looks on many, many different types of hair once I finish showing you my client's results. Once again, thank you for watching. If there's any other videos you want me to do, just drop me a comment. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.